Hurricane Willa continues to intensify and according to Force 13's latest estimate, this is just an estimate, 155 miles per hour and a pressure of 936. This is not official. The National Hurricane Center's latest update has 145. We think the storm is stronger and could be about to reach Category 5 status in the next few hours. A stage 6 on the CDPS as it stands, catastrophic. And at 17.6 north, 107.1 west, as of 10 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time this October 21st. Here are the distances in miles. The storm hasn't moved very much at all in the last four or five hours since the last English update. We're also doing updates in Spanish on this storm on the Force 13 channel. And the storm is slowly drawing closer, not moving very quickly. Hurricane warning now in effect from San Blas to Mazatlan. That's the same area that had the watch out earlier. And the other locations that are under watches and warnings, all of those are now tropical storm warnings uh, north and south of there. Here's another look at the GFS model run over the next few days, what's expected from the storm. Still a window for further intensification in the next 24, maybe even towards 48 hours before the storm begins to weaken. The storm will be affecting the coast of Mexico by the time it starts weakening. Um, and even though it's likely to weaken substantially before landfall, it could still be a major by the time it gets there. And if it does quicken up the pace before landfall, then it could still be towards the higher um, reaches of that status as well. Regardless, this storm will at least pack a significant substantial storm surge as well as those strong winds and heavy rainfall as well. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 28 degrees all the way up until the landfall location which will be probably just to the south of Mazatlan, probably by some way actually. Over the next few days there's another look at the GFS just clipping those islands before moving inland and then off towards the Gulf of Mexico, which it could uh, become an extratropical low, a deep extratropical low off the coast of the US next week. Um, but as for the next four, four days or so, uh, that's how long this storm has got before it does strike land, uh, maybe getting down to three days or less now, actually. Um, so we're looking at Tuesday, Wednesday mainly for the storm's impact time. 96% chance of tropical storm force winds at Preto Bayeto. That's on one of those islands out there just off the coast of Jalisco. Um, and 77% chance at Tepic. Models still fairly slow to catch on to what's happening right now. Um, one or two saying that Category 5 is a possibility, but most of them staying shy of that. Uh, and there's no reason to say that the storm will get the Category 5 necessarily. Sea surface temperatures a little bit cooler than for some other very notable storms we've had in the past, Patricia and Kenna. Uh, but sea surface temperatures still warm enough to support Category 5 intensity, which could occur in the next few hours. Why do we say that? Well, this is how the storm has been appearing in the last few frames. Um, it's sort of been holding steady in those last few hours. Um, the eye swirling towards looks like a north northeasterly direction moving pretty slowly um, but the eye temperature has been around 17 18 celsius with cloud tops well into the minus 80s in recent frames so the storm still appears to be intensifying it's leveled off a little bit which may uh, comfort some people to think it's not going to be another patricia but it's still going to be an extremely dangerous storm You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, fool13 and extension 9094.